Hi everybody, it's Gina. So I just wanted to do a quick video this evening on the uh, new mini book that I made. Um, this is for a very dear friend who took a trip of a lifetime a month or so ago for her 25th anniversary. She went to Wales, England, and Ireland. Uh, and she absolutely loved it. She sent me her pictures to look at and of course I promptly said why you need a book for your pictures. <laughs> so I've done this for. Um, I've tried not to um, make it too fussy with a lot of flowers and stuff like that because not really who she is and the pictures didn't weren't really conducive to that. So um, it's done with the exception of one item which we'll talk about in a minute. But um, as you can see here I just put some wild orchid craft flowers, um, stuck a couple in there with a bulb that says adventure and a metal bird sort of sitting on top of the bulb. I do not recall where the bird came from. Um, it may have come from Monique's Zibit store, Butterbee Scraps, if you know Monique. Um, it may have come from her store. The lace is from my stash. I have no idea where it came from. I do not remember. It's been in there for so long. Um, the paper that I used is the lost and found paper. I did supplement with a little bit of, um, with a pad from a just all travel paper, but unfortunately most of the paper in there was for Paris and Rome and she didn't really go to those places, so I couldn't use a whole lot of it. Um, the spine I just left plain with the paper with the uh, various stamps on it. I really like that. I think that's pretty cool. And um, then the back is just the travel paper also. Pretty plain. Um, all of the papers were inked with vintage photo, so throughout the throughout the book, um, that's that's what I did. The inside cover is fairly plain. I just put this from the paper line um, on the cover. Discover. Um, she can put some photos here if she wants to do that. Uh, this first page I left completely unaltered, so to speak, because. Um, I really, really like this message, and I feel like since this was her first, first big trip, that she really was spreading her wings and flying, so I left that like that. Um, this style of book, uh, Ginger over at My Sister Scrapper did a tutorial on it. I'm, I can't remember if it's called the Stack the Dack or which one it's called, but... Um, it's the latest tutorial that she has, which is great. So um, go ahead on over there and she'll, uh, your, her tutorial is very easy to find. Each page has a pocket in it with a tag. Uh, some of the tags I put lined paper on the back of them. Some of them I just left them plain on the back. I figured she could double up on photos if she wanted to do that because as you can imagine, she has a lot of them. Uh, this is MFT dye <clears throat> on here. Uh, this stamp is a Tim Holtz stamp that says, Not all who wander are lost, with a couple of wild orchid craft flowers on there. Uh, this page just has a pocket, which is a piece of cardstock and a piece of lace over it, which my sister gave to me, I believe, so thank you for that. Uh, a couple of tags. So this one is a Seven Gyp Gypsies tag, top ten list. Uh, this one actually came from the paper collection, and then it's just got some, uh, I believe that's the British flag colors on the back. Um, so that's that page. And then this page, um, I just took a plain piece of paper, put some lines on it with my ruler, nothing fancy, stamped the stamp on there, in dreams we catch glimpses of life larger than our own. This is a wooden button I had in my stash uh, with just a little piece of twine in it. Um, again, just a blank page for a photo. Photo mat. And this one's blank on the back. Um, the uh, edge edges were punched with an old EK Success punch that I have that I've had for a really long time. Um, so this paper has some birdcage design on it. Um, this envelope, <clears throat> sorry about the shadows, um, this envelope is a box of coin envelopes that I bought from either Staples or Office Depot, one of those. I just put a piece of the lost and found paper on it with a blingy thing here, which again, my sister sent to me. 
Uh, this page is um, for a photo if she wants to do that or she can write on it. Um, Tim Holtz stamp, The Journey Awakens the Soul. Um, also, as you'll see right here, I think you can see this, um, there's a decorative <clears throat> punch on the corner of the pages also. Um, I believe that is also an EK success. Um, so this is the Tim Holtz die, which of course we all know and love, <clears throat> birdcage die. A couple of tags in here. This brown one is actually a stamp that I have. So I just stamped it on the paper and cut it out. Um, this one came from, I'm not really sure. I don't, I don't think it was in the paper collection, um, but it just says memories and then has some lines on it. These two little stamps down here <clears throat> did come from the paper collection. And then I just put some glossy accents on them just for a little added dimension. Um, this, page, this page with the crowns, I just love this page. I'm partial to red anyway, but um, so I put a pocket on it. This lace here comes from Lavish Laces, which is Jaisala's store. Um, she has some awesome stuff, so check that out. Uh, this is a also a metal piece from Monique's uh, Butterbee Scrap Store on Zibit. So um, as you can see, it's dimensional. She has some fantastic metal, so if you um, have not been over to visit your store, you should do that. Um, this is a flat back white pearl that I colored with, I believe it was slate alcohol inks. A um, couple little tags. This one says today's today is. They just slide in there, or they're supposed to. <laughs> um, another tag. Love this one with the uh, lines on the back. This book was a lot of fun to make. It's a lot of work. I'll say that. If I didn't love her to death, I would have been really annoyed. But <laughs> anyway. Uh, this little flower came from Gisela's store also. I put it on a piece of uh, cardstock just to give it a little more weight because, whoops, sorry, got to go this way. It's open here so she can slide a picture in there. And then these are just two little cutout stamps from the uh, paper collection. Um, some lace down here and some flatback pearls. I believe the flatback pearls came from... Uh, Wild Orchid Crafts, I believe. So this is the split page, which as you'll see if you um, look at uh, the tutorial that Ginger does, she shows you how to do the split page, which is actually much easier than I thought it would be. So these I just left plain, the fronts of them I just left plain. Uh, this one, uh, this is a another, um, I believe, EK Success punch that I have. Some bling on either side. The blue Oh my goodness, okay. The blue ribbon came from Lavish Laces also. And um, I just put a little tag in here that's got some lines on it. Again, inked around the edges with um, vintage photo on everything. So that goes in there. Um, tag in here, which <clears throat> is just again from the paper collection. Trying to do this left-handed is not working. Okay. <laughs> Second uh, flap. flap. Um, so this is a stamp. Not a Tim Holtz stamp. It's another stamp from someone else's collection. Um, a Tim Holtz pen nib, which I also colored with the uh, alcohol ink. It was silver, I believe. And then a Wild Orchid craft flower. Um, and then just another Seven Gypsies tag that came out of my stash. <clears throat> I love the uh, Seven Gypsies tags. I have a lot of them. I'll be sad when they're all gone because they come in quite handy. <laughs> um, so this page, uh, my girlfriend's a sewer, so I really liked this paper um, with sort of the pattern on it, the old-fashioned pattern. A um, couple of flowers. I actually made this flower. And then a doily on here, which I also inked with the vintage photo ink. So that's that one. Um, this one is the Tim Holtz sign, hanging sign die. So I put Wish on here with a couple of flatback pearls. 
Um, she can journal on the back. She can stick a picture under there if she wants to do that. Uh, this one, just a plain piece of paper. This is a random stamp that I have from somewhere. I can't remember where. Um, and then this flower I actually made with um, a punch. I punched two of the big, two big ones and then a smaller one. Um, the paper is actually, if you've watched my last video, I have a script stamp. Um, so I, I stamped that on the paper and then cut the flower out from that, inked around the edges, and put a little pink um, pearl in the middle of it. Um, here's the tag that goes inside. Again, that one I didn't put any lined paper on. Oh, I also put some, uh, this is just yarn I stuck behind the flower, just for a little added dimension there. Uh, this page I made a acetate pocket. The paper behi behind it, sorry, I seem to be rather uncoordinated today. The paper behind it is from the Lost and Found collection. Um, this is from the Travel collection. And um, this was just a strip that I had from somewhere a long time ago um, that was actually sticky, so I just stuck that on there. Um, some tags, this one, which has, I believe this is a uh, Tim Holtz stamp, just says notice, and of course it will focus. A uh, piece of dyed seam binding on there, with dyed with Lindy stamps. Um, this is a wooden stamp that I have, which I love, I forgot I had it, um, that has all of the, um, sort of the speckles all over it, like it's dirty. <laughs> but it's really not. Um, and then this, of course, is my postcard stamp that I absolutely love with a little bit of uh, black ribbon tied on the top of it with a regular old paper clip. <laughs> uh, this is just a pocket. You can put a picture here. These are MFT dies on there. Um, tag inside here, which again, I stamped with my script stamp, and I'm really sorry it won't focus so you can see it better. Um, and just put a tag, a little tab on the top of it. Um, so this was my attempt to do a little booklet with the, with the uh, birdcage die, which I don't actually have, my sister has, so um, when I see her I punch as much as I can, <laughs> take advantage of the die. Um, so this opens up, a uh, little, like I said, little booklet here. Um, the bird here. I did actually put a magnet in here so that it'll stay closed. Tim Holtz die and a couple of uh, wild orchid craft flowers. Um, this is the dress form die from Tim Holtz. Comes with all three of the cuts. Um, the dress form, the button, and the spool. I believe that's what that's called, a spool. Um, I used the, again, the lace from Gisela store around the middle, um, a wild orchid craft flower, and some pearls. And then I also put the lace around the spool also. The button just has a piece of um, twine on it. And the paper matches what I put on the dress. So I thought that one turned out really cute. Um, and then just the tag that's in in the pocket. Uh, the last page is uh, pretty plain. Uh, this came from the paper collection. Um, this is a Tim Holtz stamp, Live the Life You've Imagined. Uh, this little metal piece here also came from Butterbee Scraps with a Wild Orchid Craft flower. Uh, back cover is fairly plain just with my stamp on it. So the challenge that I now have is I wanted to put charms on the cover. So I punched a hole and I put this on here. Um, and uh, for some reason now I can't quite figure out how to attach the charms. <laughs> Not sure what I was thinking. Um, but if anybody has any good ideas on how to do that, I would welcome those comments. So I hope you like it. I think she'll like it. Um, and I thank you for watching, and if anybody has any questions, just let me know. Have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye.